the eastern cicada killer. A large solitary digger wasp species in the family Crobronidae. The name may be applied to any species of Crobronid that preys on cicadas, though in North America, it is typically known as the eastern cicada killer in order to further differentiate it from the multiple other examples of related wasp species. This species can be found in the eastern and midwest US and southwards into Mexico and Central America. Have you ever heard of these giant wasps before? Join us, as we learn a little more about them. Adult Eastern Cicada Killers are large, at 0.6 to 2 inches long. They are robust wasps with hairy, reddish, and black areas on their thoraces, and black to reddish-brown abdominal segments that are marked with light yellow stripes, and the wings are brownish. Coloration superficially resembles that of some yellow jacket and hornet species. The females are somewhat larger than the males, and both are among the largest wasps seen in the eastern United States, their unusual size giving them a uniquely fearsome appearance. European hornets are often mistaken for eastern cicada killers, though at about 1.4 inches long, they are smaller than the largest cicada killers. The males are smaller than the females because they are not given as much larval food, since females must carry the cicadas they have killed to a burrow for nesting, they benefit from being larger, and are given more food as larvae. Solitary wasps like the eastern cicada killer are very different in their behavior from the social wasps such as hornets, yellow jackets, or paper wasps. Cicada killer females use their stings to paralyze their prey rather than to defend their nests, unlike most social wasps and bees, they do not attempt to sting unless handled roughly. Adults feed on flower nectar and other plant sap exudates. Adults emerge in summer, typically beginning around late June or early July and die off in September or October. They are present in a given area for 60 to 75 days, usually until mid-September. Males emerge first to compete for females. The large females are commonly seen skimming around lawns seeking good sites to dig burrows and searching for cicadas in trees and taller shrubs. The males are more often seen in groups, vigorously challenging one another for position on the breeding aggregation from which they emerged, and generally investigate anything that moves or flies near them. Not unusually, two or three male wasps are seen locked together in apparent mid-air combat, the aggregate adopting an erratic flight path until one of the wasps breaks away. The male wasp's aggressive behavior is similar to that of another robust insect of the area, the male carpenter bee. In both cases, while the male's vigorous territorial defense can be frightening and intimidating to human passersby, the males pose no danger whatsoever because male cicada killers only grapple with other insects, and cannot sting. This ground-burrowing wasp may be found in well-drained, sandy to loose clay soils in bare or grass-covered banks, berms, and hills, as well as next to raised sidewalks, driveways and patio slabs. Females may share a burrow, digging their own nest cells off the main tunnel. A typical burrow is 10 to 20 inches deep and about 0.59 inches wide. In digging a burrow, the female dislodges the soil with her jaws, and using her hind legs, pushes loose soil behind her as she backs out of the burrow. Her hind legs are equipped with special spines that help her push the soil behind her. The excess soil pushed out of the burrow forms a mound with a trench through it at the burrow entrance. Cicada killers may nest in planters, window boxes, or flower beds, or under shrubs and ground cover. Nests often are made in the full sun where vegetation is sparse. After digging a nest chamber in the burrow, female cicada killers capture cicadas, paralyzing them with a sting. After paralyzing a cicada, the female wasp holds it upside down beneath her and takes off toward her burrow. This return flight to the burrow is difficult for the wasp because the cicada is often more than twice her weight. A wasp often lugs her prey up into the nearest tree to gain altitude for the flight to the burrow. After putting one or more cicadas in her nest cell, the female deposits an egg on a cicada and closes the cell with soil. 
Male eggs are laid on a single cicada, but female eggs are given two or sometimes three cicadas, because the female wasp is twice as large as the male and must have more food. New nest cells are dug as necessary off the main burrow tunnel, and a single burrow may eventually have ten or more nest cells. The egg hatches in one or two days, and the cicadas serve as food for the grub, and the larvae complete their development in about two weeks. Pupation occurs in the nest cell in the spring and lasts 25 to 30 days, and only one generation occurs per year. The lifespan of an eastern cicada killer is about two to six weeks for adults, with the females living about four weeks while the males live about two weeks. So, what did you think of the eastern cicada killer? Were you aware of their short lifespans? Drop a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.